Game and Fish Department biologists manage around 450 lakes across the state. However, North Dakota has many small streams that requires monitoring as well. Our anglers are usually focusing on game fish, things that they can catch and take home and possibly eat or something that has sport fish qualities. But a lot of our streams around the state have a lot of unique fish species compositions. There's a lot of native fishes that our biologists don't have the time to actually go out and survey, but they're important in terms of indicators of water quality and general ecosystem health. And why is this information important to managing our state's fisheries? Are there reproducing populations of these native fishes out there? Are they, are they disappearing? Is there some reason for them to be disappearing? And, and basically what we're doing is just monitoring and keeping track of, of the health of our streams out there in North Dakota. For several years now, Game and Fish has provided a small grant to help Casey Williams and his Valley City State University students to travel to designated parts of the state to gather information. We collect all the fish, uh, we, we put them in a bucket, we hold them during the whole time, and then we, we ID every one of them, and then we count, we measure about 30 of each. That way we can have an idea about the size distribution of the fish, and uh, then we count the remaining ones in each of those species, and everything goes back in the water except for we keep voucher specimens, uh, two for each species that we collect at every site. Game of Fish has records on fish found in streams dating back to the 1960s. We're not really missing anything that's been found historically. So that's what I say the streams appear to be doing very well in North Dakota. It's all part of the ecosystem. So they're, you know, ecologically, they're very important. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.